Story time with Gator. <laughs> yes, uh, today, folks, it's a sad story. <laughs> well, first of all, okay, it's a true story. <laughs> Very important. They're always true, eh? No matter if you believe them or not. <laughs> uh, oh, just before I go on with the, because this is one of probably many that we'll have this winter, eh? Uh, uh, <laughs> me, <laughs> I'm an old man, eh? And you, as listeners, have to be forgiving when you listen to old man stories, eh? Sometimes I may repeat myself <laughs> in my stories, eh? All you gotta do is pretend like you never heard it before, <laughs> agree and make comments, and not tell me that I've told this story before. Okay. <laughs> now, I don't know if I told one this this one before, but I've taught it in my mind a few times. So I know that. Has to do with this truck here. This truck was two weeks, two weeks old, eh? <laughs> it's a 19 and 99, this, this jewel of mine. <laughs> I was building the camp. I had ordered uh, to put up the walls, okay, I had done the floor, but to put up the walls at the camp, I had to make the outside deck first, because then I would be able to go outside the camp to raise the wall and the brace and things, see, no, no guardrail, just do the decking, eh, so, uh, they couldn't deliver to the camp, eh? They delivered about a, maybe a mile and a half from the camp. The road wasn't finished, eh? I had even a few weeks prior, I had got stuck in the road, eh? <laughs> not with this, with a pickup, <laughs> but uh, not a full drive. Uh. And uh, I had gone afterwards, I had gone to the camp a week prior to the incident. <laughs> I had gone to the camp and uh, with this truck and just sailed through. It's got, uh, well, since then I, I thought it was a posse, eh? like the real posse. Eh? It's a posse traction rear ends made out of, you know, little springs you got in the pens there? <laughs> That's the same thing. <laughs> they put those in the rear ends and it locks the rear end. They, Anyways, that's not what the story is about. Uh, okay, the boards, pressure treated boards, five quarter. Okay, figure this. Uh, 16 feet long. I'm gonna load this in here, eh? Uh, uh, I think inside uh, six, maybe not quite six feet. With the tailgate down, not quite eight feet, okay? So uh, the the boards are gonna they're gonna I'm buying boards and a few anyways <laughs> sixteen feet long so they're gonna stick out eh and uh, so I had the preventive eh <laughs> I had uh, made a a rack I don't know if you guys ever see that it's a tubing coming out of the receiver hitch with a, a, a leg vertical leg with the horizontal with two brackets on each end so I could support the load uh, of the extended wood <laughs> I hope you guys are following me eh? on the receiver of the hitch eh? so I load all the wood not even with the headrest but even with the top of the seat that's how much wood I had in this this baby. So needless to say, it wasn't quite overloaded, but it was close. And uh, I tie it down. I tie it, you know, the hooks from the, well, the cables. I tie it with the cables of the tailgate. And I probably had another sling inside there, some ratchet strap. Eh? So I goes off eh, and I'm I'm in the roads. I passed the place, the place in the road where I gotten stuck a few weeks before because it was really soft. Eh? 
<coughs> and uh, I pass that because this thing pulls pretty good. Eh? When you put it in four wheel, four wheel high. I never, I never tried it in four wheel though. But uh, when you put it forward, it goes forward. To get it stuck, you need a lot. Anyway, not to brag about it or nothing. And I had quite a load, so that gave it some traction too, eh? And the last, well, I, I, I don't know if you remember the where I got the posts on each side, the gate at the camp where I come in there and there's cameras and everything there. Well, that was, before that was twice the hill as it is now. I've uh, put some, a lot of earth and gravel and build it up the bottom of the hill. Before it was very steep, eh? Wow! <laughs> I go up that hill, no, no, they call that, and the load slides back. It bends my contraption that I had built. That was strong to add braces underneath and everything, eh? That, wow! The, the load backed up about four feet, eh, and the top planks were almost right out of the truck, eh, so that brrr, bared down on the back. <laughs> uh, okay, built, uh, it, it bent my contraption, it bent the, 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 the receiver for the hitch, all the hitch was all twisted, the worst <laughs> two, two weeks old truck, eh, the tailgate. <laughs> was bent. I, it never came back. Well, one day I'll show you. There's a little dinge, but I never bothered with it. Eh? I, I, put a, I put a chain inside. I took out the two bolts for the, uh, the safety belts, uh, seat belts at the back. Put a chain in between the two bolts because those are solid. Eh? And then I put a come along and I put a chunk of steel Inside the tailgate, I had tapped that, put an eye on that, put the come along, and I drew it back till it was pretty well straight when I and, and I closed. I took all the contraption off when I closed the window. It was straight, but it, it, I guess I stretched the middle of the tailgate. Eh? So there was a little bit of a <laughs> a wow in the tin, but uh, I could close the window. Window never closed like it should, but I I could close it, eh, and um, keep the dust from coming in. So uh, as you can see, eh, things you you guys think that I I always have a success story with all my ventures, eh? <laughs> but this is one that turned sour on me. Eh? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Comments are welcome. Be kind, eh? Like I told you, you gotta be kind to the old people, eh? <laughs> and uh, this is probably one of many that you're going to hear this winter because I don't feel like work. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I am fixing my blower right now and uh, there's that and uh, who knows what else I'm going to get into. But I'm not, I'm only going to get in, I got to clean this place. That's what I got to do. But uh, I probably involve you guys to help me clean things, eh? You guys are going to decide what I throw away and what I keep. <laughs> but I have the right of first refusal. Eh? <laughs> okay, folks. That's it. That's all I got for today. Uh, I enjoyed it, uh, telling this story. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to see this, see? Eh? A uh, few people are asking, where's the hat? Where's this winter? Where's... It's not winter yet, because I don't feel it here. It's, uh, it's coming, though. I can tell. Uh, winter... Uh, it's kind of stalling a little bit this year, but I'm sure it's going to come. Uh, when I really feel it there, I'm going to, you'll see with me with my trapper's hat on. <laughs> it's coming though. Have no fear. As you can see, the little blower's ready. It's at the door. 
Hey, ready to go outside. I fixed it up so I don't have to pull the truck outside to take the blower out, eh? It's uh, one in front of the other like that, eh? That's the way I keep it, eh? <laughs> it's the easy way. <laughs> okay, folks, that's it for today. Uh, as usual, comments are welcome, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>